<laughs> Alright, so we're off. Got Luigi on the right here, and a fighter on the left, I think? I don't know Final Fantasy Sprites. Looks like a master, I want to say, on the left. Okay. Start with some fairy water, some gold, and our obligatory key. We'll have the burn the key to get out, so you will keep them. But heal, sleep, and a fairy water to put away some early scorpions or magidrakes. Won't take long to level. Yeah, agreed. Shouldn't be too much in the way of an early jail. you know, we could just have big breath on the magician. Why not? <laughs> Can't ask for a better start. <laughs> okay, it looks like the Tesla's gonna get the magician put to sleep and take it out with the fairy water. He won't know right away, but the fire breath... Yeah, he'll get the quick level, and he can discover that rudeness later, perhaps. 11 power, 2 speed, 3 hit points, no agility. Ah, uh, sorry, no MP. And some red slimes, okay. <laughs> Off to a much better start now. So the Tesla's gonna take an early lead and experience up to level 2 already, but the Sea Wolf will just be there shortly. Having sleep, easy to take out these ghosts. Magicians, if you can get them to sleep, would be great. Like so, and there it is. Tesla unwittingly warding off the big breath with those sleep spells. So the Tesla up to level 3. 14 power, 2 hit points, and a new spell of hurt. Again, good for grinding. Unfortunately, not much MP. Yeah, and with plenty of power to go with. Now, yeah, granted for maybe something like the skeleton, you think maybe you want the hurt, but we're getting some hard punches without it. Sure, 33 strength already is great for starting, you know, or starting a couple of levels. And has I already put the Tesla up to level 4? 18 more power, 4 speed, 8 hit points, again, no magic. So it looks like our magic points are going to be the uh, the short stat, the seed. Yeah, all these wonderful spells and no magic to work with. So the Tesla's starting to look around a little bit. I probably would have done this myself earlier. Um, you've got all that gold. If you can find a town really quick, you can pick up a weapon or some armor or something. Yeah, been fortunate not to get hit with a big breath, so hasn't had the penalty of running back and losing half his gold twice the way the Sea Wolf has. Indeed, the Sea Wolf is down to level 3, he's going to spend a bit more time around the start, try to get some more... Well, when he hits level 4, he'll have lots of strength, lots of HP to run around. Meanwhile, level 5 here for the Tesla, 4 more power, 3 speed, Zero hit points, one magic. <laughs> so I think oh. we've gained one magic since the start of the seed. I mean, we were due for a whammy level, I think. And Tesla, starting with an early exploration lead, finds the first town, and Scorpion wants nothing to do with guarding it. But of course, it's Hawksness. Of course it is. Math Girl, you did well. And that will be Edix, Math Girl. There's been a few... Oh, hello, fun police. <laughs> With the big breath. <laughs> oh no, that was just an attack. My bad. Just an attack, but just as deadly. He said just an attack, referring to the Red Dragon. <laughs> Seeing that, guy, thank you for the raid. Yeah. Seeing that Scorpion runs away, you know, this huge difference between attack power and defense power, it feels like there's a real possibility of getting into a situation where the only things that you would dare fight are all going to try and run from you. 
Yeah, pretty much. We find out the skeleton also has hurt more. Or the sea wolf does, unfortunately. He's been taking all the hits this seed. Well, we have Cantlin. Uh, nothing purchased as of yet. Only 400 and something gold, so really need chainmail and copper sword, I think, would be the best way to go right now. Agreed. Let's see what the second shop has. It has half of that. Of course, as I say that, I realize I can't afford chainmail and copper sword. It's good to have goals. Something to strive for. Yep, and there we go. Pop the Poltergeist for 18, says, no, thank you. Don't want none of this. I still don't think the Tesla's found out about the fire breath on the magicians. <laughs> Maybe he never will. Maybe we can surprise him with that knowledge at the end. Maybe so. Maybe so. I think there'll be a clip for later on, too. Seawolf taking on this Droll Magi with a Sleep Hurt combo. Perfectly viable if the Droll Magi will stay asleep. Be a good boost in experience as well. Excellent move! 39 damage, awesome. That'll get the job done. Get him pretty close to caught up with the Tesla with that kill. Looking for the Death Warp, I guess, where he's out of MP. There's no way he can beat a Green Dragon yet. Yeah, makes sense. Just go ahead, pop back, get your MP back, get all the life. So seven points to level six for the Tesla, but 40 for the Sea Wolf. Tesla should have it with most likely the next enemy, Magician or Higher. It's gonna go straight to Cantlin instead. And is now taking the Copper Sword. A little boost in attack power, so it's enough. You've already got 55 strength anyway, so. Any little boost you get would be great. Yeah, and maybe just with the rude zones that have been nearby with the green dragons and the axe knights and the. Not that he knows about the fire breathing magicians, but maybe just wants to spend his gold before he keeps losing it one half at a time. Yeah, there's really not much point in keeping it much further than this. I mean, you're not going to build up a whole lot without dying. By the dragon scale as well, and. Ooh, werewolves just outside. That's not good. Hey, Metal Slimes and Sherlock! Oh, look, the Metal Slimes have fire breath, too! <laughs> Yay! Oh, wow! <laughs> that's, uh, that's not gonna be the easy 255 that Seawolf might have been hoping for. Nope. Now, at level 5, it actually wouldn't be uh, 255. I think that kicks in at level 8. We've got the um, ah, yes. Yale Metal Slimes. And Heal More, oh boy! <laughs> Yeah, right now it would be 160, 32 times a level. Yep, sounds right. Alright, they can never heal more because they only have 3 HP and has get down to 25% to kick in. Yeah. yeah. The and Wyverns with Fire Breath! Everywhere. So lots and lots of fire breath, and very little firepower for us. Well, lots of strength. I mean, they should easily be able to take out a wyvern now if they can, um, if they can get it down without using the fire breath. Same with the skeletons; they should be able to get them down pretty quick without them casting hurt more. 
Slamu, there may be math, but we cannot guarantee it's going to be accurate. No math. Math girl seed. Just saying. So ten minutes in, both players are on level six. We have heal, we have hurt, we have sleep. Uh, minor weapons, no defense really. But we're actually getting some exploration, which is probably going to be cut short by the look of it. Yeah, nothing like a big armor knight in your way to make you realize you're about to go back home. Yep. I guess the best bet right now would probably be the grind on the skeletons and scorpions and work your way up maybe to level 7 or 8 see what you can get from there. Yeah, um... Feels to me like an interesting problem, at least, with so many powerful enemies not too far away, all seeming to block. Tesla makes it through a swamp and finds Rimmeldar. Woo, keys! This will let him pick up the keys, and he can wander back to. Tantagel, see what's in the treasury, and in the stairs down. Well, only one key at the moment. So I think the idea, the better idea would be to go outside Rimmeldar, grind up for some more gold to pick up at least one more key. Hmm, good point. I'd missed his gold total. Only had 63 to start. Key cost 50-something. 50 53? Yeah, I think 53 is right. Level 7 now for the Sea Wolf. 14 power, 1 hit point, 20 magic. Okay, our magic is boosted up a little bit. Strength is still going up like crazy. I mean... I'm starting to feel like, you know, could we have something else, please? I mean, it's nice wrecking these things in one shot, but it would be nice to survive when they ambush. You really only need six or seven more strength, and you're good once you find Erdrick's sword. I don't know the math, but I'm looking at Agility 29, Red Dragon, Running... I mean, what else are you gonna do, though? I mean, there's always a chance, but it's a very small chance. Hey, we have a Sparkle Bridge here on the Tesla side. Excellent moves to Scorpion for 42. Nice to see that. And with that sleep, the wyverns are confirmed to have the wombo combo. Fun. Just for a bit of background information here, the sea wolf in uh, race time chat earlier was saying uh, something about drakeys having, you know, all the power. And I said, well, if we see a drakey and it has the wombo combo, I'm just gonna leave chat or leave comms and because <laughs> it'll just be way too funny. Alright, so in the Tantagel Treasury we have an herb, we have the Fighter's Ring, another herb, and a Dragon Scale. So no gold grind there. Let's see what's in the basement. Or let's not see the basement. 
Basement Schmashment. Right, right, didn't want to spend the last key, that makes sense. Yeah. He does have a second key that he picked up, but it's the only one. So I'll probably want to buy more, or at least get enough gold to buy some more keys before he goes in there. Yeah, makes complete sense. Tesla's been exploring and unlocking doors. The Sea Wolf is out one level ahead. And only a few XP away from level 8. And unfortunately for the Tesla, there wasn't really anything in the treasury that gave a big boost for ketchup. It's the check mark's marked off, but still looking for something else to get him moving along. Right, so Marmar or Sword now would be amazing. But now we should see what's in the basement. As well as level 8, it's 6, 1, 8, 23! There's those magic points. Ah, nice. Second level in a row with a lot of magic. have a dark cave in the basement and it is the grave so three chests in here if he hasn't and two more if he hasn't used the last key but I wouldn't dive the grave yet not the full grave yeah not on my last key agree one of these three chests has a key though and the fairy flute Death and necklace. the necklace, and enough money for a full key ring. Perfect. Death on the Sea Wolf side, two rogue scorpions. Still a little much yet for our defense power. Strength and HP are good for fighting a rogue scorpion, but our defense is extremely low at the moment. Very much a glass cannon build. Yeah, these don't look like death necklace numbers. Maybe some... The MP would probably have to cut off hard for that to be a thing. <laughs> well, we've got lots of levels to go yet. Your average seed is going to finish on around level 15 or 16, so... At least seven more levels before we hit go time. Right, beta strip points out a good point. Now we actually do have a gold grind because there's a gold chest in the bottom or in the top of the grave. Yeah, not the more obvious gold grind of the golds in the Tantagel treasury, but with it being in the basement, you don't have to step outside, you don't empty the buffer of treasure chests, and it's still sitting right there. Yep, and again, Meta points out, if you do it properly, you activate your gold grind, flame sword, magic armor, silver shield, right away, and then just go where you want. Yeah, I don't hate what the Tesla's doing here, though, going ahead and diving the grave first. If you find sword or armor in here, then that's a lot less time you spend on that grind. Indeed, and at the moment we don't have any of our story items, the Silver Harp, the Stones of Sunlight, or Erdrick's Token. We need all of those to make the rainbow drop to finish the game. 
so as soon as you have a cave right there, eh, why not? So far I've seen green dragons, skeletons, and magicians down here, so it's not extremely bad either. Oh, yeah. the sea wolf has found the missing town of coal. Indeed. Search tile says... Nothing. Oh, skeleton with that agile dodge. Counters with the hurt more, sends the Tesla away. Hmm. What do we have in coal? I missed that. Uh, purchase of chainmail, and I saw a silver shield in the shop, but I missed everything else. Search tile was empty. Ah, very disappointing. Sea Wolf is going to take advantage of the shop and coal, one you rarely take advantage of. Of course, Sprite also blocks his way and he turns around and leaves. Says, <laughs> You're no longer worth my time. <laughs> that would be Rai Guy special right there. with those green dragons up top. Gonna try for the rogue scorpion again. Again, he's got the HP, he's got heal. Just a matter of poor defense. He's got the chainmail now, is a little bit better though. And that will put him to level 9. 6 power, 14 more hit points, 1 magic, no strength. Still hurting on that agility front, but the other numbers are coming in line. But agility is just a number, right? Right? You say that until you find a red dragon. But then it doesn't <laughs> matter anyway. Apparently a very nice crit, and the same number of viewers right now, actually. Magic Wyvern says I've had enough of you putting me to sleep, but doesn't matter. Only one more shot was needed anyway. Do we have the Tesla activating a gold grind here? Looks like we might. I already knows what all these chests are, so he's picking them up again. And for the basement. Yeah, go over the basement. Sea Wolf, meanwhile, saved up enough gold to get a hold of a large shield. That'll make his defense even better. Yep, I'm 35 points now. Getting there. Slowly, but getting there. Yes, magicians, run away with your big, big breath. Run away. We want nothing to do with you. Enough agility to run away from a green dragon. That's the main point here. I don't know if he's picked up the HS, you want to pick up the other two before he gets that one, I think. Yep, I think so. Yeah, and the gold was on the far left. Oh, my bad. Oh, there, the gold, I was right. Gold is on the far left. Death necklace there is the middle one. Ah, but he turns around, maybe not thinking that, because he got the gold out of the chest, where the death necklace is one-time pickup only. And also, the death necklace went away. That chest went away, so he might not be certain he's got his um, grind set up. 
should if he had went to the uh, the throne room, but I don't know if he did. No, I really did right, because that, that death necklace chest should have stayed there. Yeah, it would have stayed. Three in the throne room, seven in the treasury, eight, that was the ninth chest if you did the throne room. <laughs> right. Well, time for another dive instead. Looks like the Sea Wolf is about to hit level 10. With this Manger Whipper, I believe. Yep, level 10. Let's see what we got yep. here. There it is. Seven, seven more power. Eight, seven, eight, zero, eleven. You know? And heal more. I don't think I'm mad at the hit points being the zero. Fair enough. And at level 10, we have more than enough strength to fight the Dragon Lord once we find the sword. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, those green and orange numbers showing up indicate that the stat... The green says we're good for the Dragon Lord. The orange says we're not ready for the Dragon Lord yet, but running through Charlock could work. Also a very nice MP. I think you're right there, Lav. I think exploration is your is your avenue now. You want to find all the story items. Really need to find Mountain Cave, your Free Cave. You need to find your two Turning Caves. We've seen Sherlock, but that's about it. Tesla's persistence in the cave dive just paid off. Erdrich's armor located. Oh, very nice. That was in the fourth chest. Yes. So, still going down for the fifth, seeing as it's part way down there. Yeah. Just like that, up to 44 defense power. So recovering one hit point every step has resistance to hurt, hurt more, and all kinds of dragon breath. Ah, those magicians don't look so bad anymore. As long as you're fully healed. So it's going around the diamond room. Gonna be coming up on the last chest soon. Already paid with the armor, but definitely want to finish the job. The wings. No outside spell, you've gotta walk back, but that would be now, let's see. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So that should be enough if he gets back. Yeah. To start using that chest for a gold grind. And right. as yeah, exactly. Beta pointed out, don't have to grind up all your money now because you already have Erdrick's armor. Yeah, I think the plan might have been to walk back, regardless. You know, granted, lack of outside, but I don't think a death warp was ever in the cards. I think the Tesla realized that needed a couple more chests to try and. And get that gold grind on. I mean, technically, it could death warp anyway because the chest will still be open, so, eh, you know. No, oh, that's valid. That's true. You never kick out, you can death warp, it keeps the grind alive. It's a good point. So the Sea Wolf managed to get to the shop without being NPC blocks, buying up on herbs. Bit of extra healing. Almost got blocked from getting out, but does manage to get away. Really needs to start exploring, head in that other direction, and find uh, Rimmel there for keys. Or keys somewhere else. Yeah, knowing. The, what we do now, the, the graves in the basement and the armors down in the grave, that that's a really big deal.
And the Seawolf has started to branch out in some exploration. Of course, the Tesla's still going back for his gold grind, which really is the best thing right now, because you get your items and then you can just explore. Go away from the castle and see what you can find. Yeah, and just unfortunately for the Seawolf, not exploring in the direction that has the best thing for him at the moment. Hopefully he gets back over to Remoldar. Tesla getting a little backed up in Graves, found his way now, but rarely ever go back in this direction from the basement. And we have our gold grind. Gonna want to go to about 25,000 gold, I believe, in order to get the Flame Sword and Silver Shield. Yeah, 24,600 for the pedantics in the audience, but yeah, about 25. I can go to 25 and grab a few extra keys. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I would guess he'd go all the way for both. Yeah, makes the most sense. So we've got the Seawolf here fighting a green dragon, doing pretty well. Um, being able to take 19, 20 damage at a time. Oh, an excellent move, even better. Almost Another... triple digits. Yep. Another green dragon or something not too big, and uh, we'll have level 11. And no, looks like the Tesla's gonna cut it off around 16,000. So, just the shield, it looks like. Or as Beta Shrub's pointing out, also scoop up the bronze one. Fair point. I, I almost would've went for Flame, because then you don't even have to worry about a Drick Sword right now. Assuming all your other stats line up in the end. For the extra minute or two would have taken, I'd probably go with Flame. Yeah, something to ask about later. Um, probably feels a little behind with how rude the grave was to him. Doesn't really know, of course, that the Sea Wolf is two levels up on him, but hasn't even found Remoldar yet. We just got 43 hit points in that level. <laughs> well, that's that's green. <laughs> Death Nicholas may be viable now, <laughs> by the time you hit 15. I mean, if you're up to 160 hit points, why not? So we've got 84 MP, which is 10 heal more, so almost enough. 99 attack power with a club. 119 HP. 43 agility is not great, but hey. I mean, you can almost do damage to the Dragon Lord with the club now. <laughs> uh. Oh, here we go with some coordinates from Canlan. 51, one direction, and I missed the other number. Power tracker's on it. 27. 51 south, no less. <laughs> Based on how you go south, this may be a princess grab, but we haven't found her yet. Yeah, you might count it and count off the 27 east, and then you've got the long ground south. For me, at least, it's a coin flip as to whether I would dare count this or whether I would just try and find a princess. I think for me right now, if I was in either one of their positions, we haven't found any of the story items. We know we have to find more caves or towns or something. I'd say screw it, go look for everything else. You've already got the armor. So go look for the other towns, and if you happen to find the princess, warp back and go from there. Likely is countable, but I think at the time being with what you're missing, the count is not necessary yet. 
Yeah, still a lot of options on the table for where the things could be. But Tesla does look to be making the count. And meanwhile, in making the count, maybe he'll come across some towns or caves. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of this map. We saw Hawksness early, and then the runners decided to head elsewhere. Speaking of Hawksness, looks like the Sea Wolf is going to go take a shot at whatever's there. It's a deputy. Ah, You got heal more. You got 47 defense. You got a good tank of MP. I think we're good here. Clubbing all the dragons and nothing there. Oh. Second start out with nothing. <laughs> Another whammy. And the Tesla, if he can execute the count, will let us know if all of the overworld spots are whammies. Nope, there are coordinates, so there has to be something on there. Fair. Right now you're either looking at Erdrich's sword or one of our three story items. There are the only three things that could be there because we already have the flute and we already have the death necklace. And the armor. Seawolf's just gonna settle in and say, well, 180 XP at a time. I can do this. This looks tasty. Grinding with a club, but never thought I'd see it. I mean, Not when, you've got, anyway. when you've got 95 strength, you know, weird things happen. Level 12 comes along. We have four more power, one speed, six hit points, two magic, and another spell. We have hurt more. Nope, screw hurt more. I'm using a club. I'm saving my MP for healing. <laughs> Blue dragons <laughs> yeah, yeah, have 17, 7 out of 16 hurt resistance, is that right? Sounds right. I don't actually know. Um, they usually can't go down to a couple of hurt mores, but I've seen recently where they've avoided five in a row, maybe. Tesla has counted the coordinates and has found the silver harp. And a town. Yay! Why death warp to a blue dragon when you could walk out and death warp of your own free will? <laughs> so silver harp sitting out in Breconary's front yard. Just gonna take the quickie in here and then go ahead and hopefully search for some more. Still need to find the cave to turn the harp down, still gotta find those stones, still gotta find a token, still got work to do. Some red dragon is showing the uh, proof that agility is just a number. Three straight blocks. <laughs> mm. Then again, the agility isn't high yet, so, you know. Makes sense you can't run from that one. So right now we're still looking for Rimaldar, Mountain Cave, the two trading caves, and... 
tablet in Stone's Cave. A lot of caves. Oh, right, both sides of Swamp. And the Tesla... Did Tesla wander back for the Remolder chest? I don't think he has. Garen had a uh, flute, death necklace, gold, armor, and something else that did better. Wings were the last one, yeah. Something that did not do Oh, sorry, Garen's Grave. The town? No, we have not seen. Also looked now 41 minutes in, and the Seawolf still hasn't found Rimmeldar. Doesn't have keys yet. Yeah, still three levels ahead. And chugging along on the back of that 99 strength, but you know sooner or later you want that armor. Just found Breconary, doesn't realize that the harp is maybe 10 steps away. Yeah, Lorgan, hard for me to tell who's ahead too. Quite honestly, um, the the lack of keys and the lack of armor is the equalizer for Tesla being down three levels. Yeah, definitely anyone's game is still here yet. Aaron, you have a point there. Lack of keys this far in certainly be on your mind. Definitely been something that I've been getting used to and keeping in mind as I've been learning this randomizer is all of the map exploration aspects. You, know, you could just be one tile off somewhere and just miss something that's crucial. I remember a race I did a couple of years ago in one of the tournaments. Myself and my opponent, and I can't remember who it was at the time, Started off in um, on a peninsula, took forever to grind our way out because armor knights were armor knights and stone men blocked the way to anything. And the both of us, once we got out in about 40 minutes, we both walked right past Cole, and Cole had the armor. And neither one of us found it until just before we were ready to go search in Sherlock Ford. Is there something about the armor in Cole that just makes people naturally veer away from it? Because um, it's happened to me earlier this week. I saw it happen to someone else this week. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's possible. One power, four speed, ten hit points, nine magic, and another new spell on level 13. And that's actually all our spells now. So, 13 has all the magic, and every stat but agility is looking great. Seawolf can actually do 1 to do damage on uh, Dragon Lord 2 with the club now. Yeah, Tesla's back in the grave for... Reasons? Maybe setting up another gold grind? Maybe decided that life is difficult, I do want that flame sword after all? Entirely possible. Still, having broadsword has yeah. more attack at level 9 than Seawolf does at level 13. Alright, still at 109 attack power. Maybe he likes the enemies here? Maybe he's gonna settle in and grind for a little bit? Yep, walking back and forth, definitely yep. looking for a grind. Yep, there we go.
not far off from level 10. I think level 11 was the big one, but not far from level 10 right now. Ah, see, we'll find the mountain cave, and the first chest has a key. So he has his keys now, and hopefully we'll take a death warp and find the grave afterwards. Unorthodox method of getting your keys, to be sure, but works just the same. Fairy water second chest. Let's see a sword down here, because 104 attack power clearly isn't enough. Clearly not, no. That will put him at 140, I believe? If we find the sword? Not quite the sword, but it is a token. Yeah, still important. One chest left to go, and then hopefully takes death warp. Oh, wrong way. Get back over to your right. Yep, you got it now. Good, good, good. Ah, the one curse belt. Yeah, had to be somewhere. <laughs> and nope, no death warp. Just pops outside. Still wants to explore, by the look of it. Still, having the key has a fair amount of gold. Oh, another town. Yeah, when he does death warp or die the next time, um, should get the armor right away. And this should be Garenham, right? We've seen all the other towns? Did I miss one? Should be Garenham. So that'll, that, that'll make things interesting. Do you... Use your one key here, not having found Rimalar. What would you do? I would because you can heal here, and the mountain cave is just across the water there. So if you really need a second key or another key, I'd go back and grab it off the top floor. Makes sense to me. Sea Wolf scoops up a broadsword. Raises the attack power to 120. And that would now be 5 to 10 on the Dragon Lord with a broadsword. Ah, uh, never but mind. Never mind. <laughs> and the spare key to boot. So, to heck with 5 to 10, let's just double that. <laughs> Herb in the back, nothing big, but we're still missing those two turning caves. And the stones. So I think by process of elimination, the stones are in Rimaldar? If I'm correct? Well, let's see. We've seen Hawksness, we've seen Garenham and the Grave. We've seen the castle. Um, we've seen the mountain cave, we've seen the map. Tablet, thank you, Centroid. Tablet there we go, cave. Yeah. <laughs> See, we'll going straight to the back. I'm sure he has more than enough gold to buy keys, yep. So he'll buy, I'll probably go back down to the treasury, see what's in there, and then head straight for grave in the basement. He's about 2,700 behind in XP already. Gives us 43 HP boost, though, which is very nice. But the Tesla at least knows of one of the two locations that's unexplored, having found Remoldarm. The Sea Wolf is still in the dark as to where either of those last two chests are. True. See if he actually dives the grave here. I think he will. I don't see a point not to now. There only being two chests left, and yeah, two in yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Just dive. 
Yeah. You're here. You've got the keys. You, you don't know what could be down there. Um, and as was mentioned in chat earlier, probably really nervous having taken so long to find a key, you know. Did my opponent already get here? Did they find something important? I gotta see what's here. Peter's right. This is winnable at level 11 if you have all your items and make it with full resources. All you need is a clean dive. Casual, right? Clean dive, maybe no back attacks by the DL, but yeah. Seawolf is going to get his armbar right here. We'll still have to dive as he's missing the stones and the harp. So even with Silver Shield at level 13, we're only looking at 76 defense, which is 10 below really where you want to be. Uh, with the amount of HP, if you don't use the Death Necklace, you could certainly pull it off, no problem. Just have to heal a bit higher than 48 like you normally do. Yeah, or that, or if you don't use the, use the necklace, you stand a good chance of healing yourself to a range where you can land some doubles. Oh, definitely. And thank you to Paul Doug. Please, if you guys are enjoying this, feel free to follow the Tesla and the Seawolf. As well as Math Girl, our restreamer, Centroid, our tracker, Commander Leonhart, my co commentator, and myself, CyberDark86. Tesla's gonna make his way and Hawk's Nest. Don't anticipate any problem with the Blue Dragon, so should soon be getting the disappointing news that there's nothing here. Yeah. Ah, but if nothing else, a decent grind. Yeah, but as Chats pointed out, like, the stats at 11 are pretty solid for running. It's really is about the explore for running down Charlock, rather. But it really is about the exploration at this point, hunting down the pieces to make the rainbow drop. Got Seawolf now getting his coordinates. We'll know shortly that the, um, well, assuming he does his count shortly, we'll know that the harp is out in the overworld. Still needs to find Rimmel there, though. And we still gotta find out where the guy's hanging out to turn the harp in. <laughs> right, we haven't seen either one of the turning caves either. Might actually be a second continent out there through the swamp cave, because we still haven't seen that. I'm not seeing the swamp cave. Seawolf hasn't seen it, so it was just doing the count. Which apparently isn't as hard as we thought. Good news about this count is pretty much anything on the overworld is going to die with 142 attacks, so you just kill it on your way along and slowly gain levels. Yep. And yeah, as Lorgan and Bed are pointing out in chat, you're going to be force-fed XP, whether you like it or not. You can't run, you can't repel, your only way to deal with the fights is to cut them down, and you'll build up your XP. Seawolf's gonna get cut off by the river, and gonna have to loop back around on this count. Yep, the Tesla did the same thing, I believe. Okay. 
tricky little rivers. What are you gonna do? Tesla catching up an experience pretty quick. He's back up to level 12. Which includes her more. Excellent move on the red dragon takes it down in one hit. Wow. Good times. Heck of a way to get to level 14, which has 0955. Nine agility is certainly a help. Really don't need any more strength or HP or magic. Seawolf's off by a little bit on the count, but isn't panicking. Searching nearby tiles as well. Knows he's in the right area, and that with all of the turnarounds, a little bit of a misstep isn't unlikely. There we have the silver harp. One more item to find. Now's when you want to see some metal slimes. Instant kill. <laughs> a little faster than a red dragon. I mean, unless you create it all the time. Gap in experience, still, still about 2,500, but... Again, it, it, it's exploration. The, the, the numbers are there, honestly. They're starting to feel like safety levels. Yeah, he's Except for that agility. Really now, I mean, the silver shield will be a help, but even with the large shield, you could manage this, no problem. Dodgiest of enemies, the Demon Knight, rattling <laughs> off two quick dodges back to back. At this rate, I think we're definitely going to see 15 for Seawolf. If he finds all his items. Hey, a cave! Oh, it's a cave! It's a cave! Well, we, we found the jerk. Not the one we wanted, but at least we know where it is now. Yeah, part of the homework that had to be done. Red dragons shouldn't be any problem in Sherlock if they keep breathing fire as much as they have been. And have, have Armor Knights shown off any abilities that you've seen? Not that I remember, other than a bunch more. Yeah, same. Tesla getting the bad news in Cole. This would be Swamp, or Tablet, Swamp. Swamp South. So the quick outside, you don't even need to walk. Yay, more Swamp. Uh, Sherlock? Just Still north happen, maybe? of... Just north of Sherlock, but it looks like we've got a mountain ridge and the castle cutting off direct access, so... My technical account is two continents. We'll see how it plays. Oh, there's another cave right there in the upper left-hand corner. You can just see it on the outside of this werewolf fight. 
So that's either going to be Tablet or our last turning cave. Tablet it is. Nope. Not even going to try. It says, no thank you, not right now. Still need those stones, though. You have it outside. I don't know, I think I'd go for it. Yeah, and you just discover that it's a really tiny continent. Yeah, I agree. I would go for it, too. Oh, and return out of it, too. Wow. Down. But but he says, no, it's a long walk. I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling like messing with it. Oh, there's Rimmeldar. Isn't it? Yes. He walked past it, too. Hey, validating the seed. I'm not familiar with that meme. Would you mind explaining? <laughs> sure. So, Sparkle Bridge, as we've seen, is one tile on the other side of a bridge. Uh, it just became a meme in the community that you have to search the Sparkover Bridge. One day, we will find an item on it, even though we know the seed the item wasn't on it. So, it just became this thing to do, and like many, say, The Legend of Zelda, um, Link to the Past randomizer, finding that one rupee or the one arrow is the validation rupee or arrow. So, this was our validation for Dragon Warrior. Oh, gotcha. Well, over in Free Enterprise, we talk to the job dwarf. <laughs> there you go, same idea. Just something to do for the memes. Yep, yep. Good times. I remember Spark over racing one time, and uh, her opponent had finished, so she went and found the princess, and retired to her bridge. Where she forfeited. <laughs> <laughs> if the seed turned out in such a way that you couldn't impress the audience with how you ran it, and give them the swag, give them the memes. Exactly, and everybody loved it. I think the day we find an item actually on the tile, apparently we found one on the bridge, but the day we actually find it on the tile, I don't think anyone's going to care who wins. Everything's just going to stop. Officially the most blessed of seeds ever. So the sea wolf now has, I don't think, has picked up the chest of Rimmel there. Never went through Tablet. I don't know what yeah. else he's missing. Yeah, I don't think the Sea Wolf has even entered Rimuldar, right? Just walked right past it to Spark Bridge? Yeah, must have thought that he was already seen it or knew what it was and didn't think that he needed to get the chest, but it's got to be one of those two places. Yeah, we know from, you know, our all-seeing eye that those are the only two things we haven't seen, and that one of those two has those has the stones. We still gotta find a harp cave too, though. Ah, fair point. So that last level never had any agility, I don't think. Just HP and MP. Dragon Lord's done for, unless he's done some impressive things with, I don't know, stonemen, wizards in Charlock that block, but any of our runners that get through to him, that, that's probably game. Yep, and honestly, Beta, why not? Equip the Death Necklace, you're still going to have over 100 HP, have 150 to attack, there's a town right outside the castle, you don't really need anything in there. You know, increase your chances of one-shotting a Magi Wyvern. You know, flirt with the idea of one-shotting a Blue Dragon. Go for it. 
<laughs> Tesla now found, finding Garenham. Find Erdrick Storage shortly. And the token. Yep, getting caught up on that all important exploration. Wait, no. Token was in Mountain? Yes, Token was in Mountain. Still needs to find Mountain Cave for the token. It was, I think, one of the two chests on the bottom floor that are paired side by side. Yeah, that sounds right. A heart cave and stones, which are, as previously mentioned, either in the tablet or in the Rimmeldar chest. So, for those of you coming in here at a little over the hour mark, you just saw where the sword was. Erdrick's armor was in the fourth chest in the Garum Grave. The... the harp is on the search spot. The token, as we just mentioned, is in the mountain cave, and the stones are nowhere in sight. So the Tesla's just found the mountain cave, and will shortly be getting Erdrick's token. So both players are looking for the stones, and we know they're in one of two places, either in Tablet Cave or Rimmeldar's chest. Seawolf has decided not to search the Tablet Cave and has walked past Rimmeldar without going in. And the Tesla made it to Rimmeldar early, but didn't have enough money to buy a full set of keys, and so left without checking that chest and hasn't made his way back to it. I believe Seawolf is the only one that has seen Swamp Cave. Needs to get back to it immediately. But Seawolf also knows, having explored the second continent in all its wide glory, oh, finds what he was looking for. Here's, here's our heart cave. <laughs> Alright, one last thing we need to find. Tucked way down at the southern edge of the map. Tesla not far away. A little confused by the jerk at the moment, I think. Won't get kicked out by talking to him because he has a token, but... Now, see, Wolf, do you already have the stones and we didn't know? No, you don't. Oh, maybe that's why he passed over Rimmeldar in the tablet cave. Thought he already had the stones. Yeah, Seawolf might have clicked something wrong on his track or thought he already had the stones. That definitely explains skipping Tablet and Remoldar. Oof. So both players now are pretty much even in items, other than the fact that the Tesla has a silver shield and Seawolf only has a large. And Seawolf just needs to figure out, you know, okay, what is it I thought I had done that I didn't? Where do I need to go back to? Still fighting the dragons, meanwhile, gonna get level 16 while they're searching around. The Tesla is still back on level 13. Still viable to win like this, but... Wouldn't hurt to have a couple more levels. Yeah, just more safety levels. I mean... Kind of a case of, you know, it's just faster to cut them down than it is to run from them. Pretty much. Any bets in chat? on whether it's Tablet or Remoldar that has our stones. 
I'm gonna go with tablet. I'll go with remote just to be different. Makes it more interesting. I'm so glad for Seawolf that return doesn't work while you're in a cave, because that would have been devastating. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I can't get a prediction set up fast enough. Right, because it's too late. We're gonna about to have the answer. Seawolf opens the chest, and it is in Tablet Cave, over on the tiny patch of the second continent. Straight to tablet, straight back down through, and going straight for the jerk. Yeah, he was off in the southeast, if I remember right. Pretty close to the other trading cave and Garenham, I believe. Yeah, sounds right. Oh, and the Tesla right behind him and finds this, the tablet cave. Yep, yeah, and it's going to go through, so he'll have the stone shortly. This could be this close. Is actually, this could be very close. You know, if I had a free crit every time I tried to take a set of stairs with me, I, well, I don't have a lot of crits. Amen. Take the stairs, it just makes sense. Sure. There's our jerk, and there's a rainbow drop. And we're head we're headed straight there. I, I, I see no reason to detour anywhere else. No, Sea Wolf only has a couple more big, uh, high level enemy kills, and will be at level 16, so he'll get that on the way along. I'm sure. And a Tesla at level 13, looking over the numbers a little more. Attack power 142, 10 to 21, 15 and a half, call it a 10 round fight. Yeah. It was a fun exercise, but. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you'd have to watch out here for is uh, healing at the right time, heal mooring at the right time in the Dragon Lord fight. Dragon Lord can do a little bit more than normal, too. So heal at 50 51. Of course, the dreaded miss menu. No one's immune to it. Indeed. So 11326, Seawolf is dropping the rainbow drop. Gonna head into Sherlock. Tesla is not far behind. That a level 16 you called. Two, zero, four, five. Like the one thing you would have wanted out of it, probably. A little more agility, but no joy. Yeah, not worth going back to get that extra couple of AP. Just head down now. So 154 hit points, 68 defense. You, you talked about the higher number where you need to fire your heal mores. Is that low defense enough to keep you off the death necklace in this type of situation? Not really, no, because you lose 25% of your HP. I'm not going to do the math because I can't. But you'll still be over 100 HP in this case. And even if the Dragonlord was doing 52, do you say? Still at 104, you've got double attacks. So I think putting the Death Necklace on would be fine here. And then you've got 154 attack, you're doing what? 
15 to... No, not 15. 12 and a half, or 12, I'll say 13 to 25, or whatever. You're still going to be taking this drag out here really quick. Yeah. So, yeah. With the Death Necklace on, you're just about averaging 20 per swing. When 20 is an average, I mean, what's going on? Yeah. It'd be great to see everything above 20. Uh, outside of Chaos, I don't think I've ever seen it, but it's fun when it happens. I wouldn't actually be surprised if the Sea Wolf took level 17 here, way down. You find a bunch of wizards or Star Wyvern, something easy to kill, you can easily get 17 before you get down there. Yeah, and again, with these agility and attack power numbers, it's been the story of the sea. It's we don't not that they need the XP, it's just faster to fight than to run. Stonemen, golems, rare dragons, stuff like that. Maybe not worth the fight. Yeah, we'll run maybe. from them. They're, they're, they're high hit point totals. Dual AK fights here on the screen. Seawolf has... 3,500 experience lead. And honestly, and it, was, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it was good for two strength, the nine agility is nice, but the 19 hit points and the 13 magic points? Eh? <laughs> so 117, the Tesla's going into Sherlock. Three levels below what the Seawolf is. Pretty much first full Sherlock in between uh, the Tesla on the top floor and Seawolf just hitting the bottom floor. Yeah, the Seawolf still at 103 magic points. That's just da, 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 just shy of 13 in the tank. Okay, only two levels below. Even still. I'd say what's the worst thing that can be on the spike tile, but honestly, I don't think it matters what's on the spike tile. It really doesn't. Even if you have the golem, you still have the fairy flute there. And even without the flute, I don't think these stats are too afraid of the goal. <laughs> Tesla having to stop to heal as he's trying to cut through the red dragons. And Seawolf is through the boss and on to the best dressed man in the land. Ah yes, the Dragon Lord. Please hold B, become a fool. Let's see what happens. Curving it up, waiting for a spot stop spell, and there it is. I'm sure Seawolf had max herbs. But gives up and says, nah, we'll just take it. Still has 120 HP, even back attack, and it's not gonna matter. 20! 39.
50. Low roll with that 11 there. 70. Not going with the Death Netflix, accepting the high hit point buffer. 90. Hundred and seven. Hundred and twenty one. Lots of MP to spare. Oh, yeah, this up. Uh, we count. Uh, I, I must count. It's a Dragon Lord fight. Hundred and thirty eight. But yeah, this is this is already over. Hundred and fifty three and call it. Done. Ball of light for the sea wolf. Very well played, and both runners. Both runners for sure. Yeah, and a seed that definitely presented an unusual challenge where the stats were on point except for agility and it was just a matter of exploration the sea wolf found the pieces just in time so we have the sea wolf jumping in for a interview shortly while we continue to watch tesla complete his dive Yeah, and the, those couple of levels and Tesla's decisions to fight through rather than run from, he's burning through a lot of MP. This might be a, might have been always intended to be a leveling dive for him, the fights he's taken. Still at 46 MP, I think he could probably win this. Welcome, Seawolf. GG. Thank you, thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Seawolf. GG. Congratulations. So, my first thought for you. Congratulations. It took a while to so find a key for you. early. Yeah, no. Uh, How did that make you feel? It took a while um, to find a key Once I saw the treasury was bunk, early. it wasn't so bad. How did that make <laughs> but, uh, you feel? Yeah, I was like, I got find a key. Then I did one of those cross map things. You found a key in the top of grave. I'm like, oh, that's... Or it was actually the top of mountain cave. I'm like, that's not great. And I saw Garenham, and I was like, I rolled the dice because I've seen so many chests. I roll the dice on a key fund, and worst case, I'll go back one screen left and grab another key. But uh, Nimbledar was right there at the top, so <laughs> right around the corner. Totally missed it. So uh, it could have been really awful, but the treasury was really uh, not much important there. So that was good. It was actually a really close race. The Tesla is halfway down through Sherlock right now. At level it was 15, actually mind you. a really close race. The Tesla um, is halfway down You had Sherlock a very right high experience lead for a while after grinding those blue dragons. Um, yeah, there were you the had a very high experience lead for a while after grinding those Yeah, no, the exploration was definitely a, tricky. It's a full map special. Uh, you had to go all the way south to find the Harp Cave, which I was thinking around the whole map for. And then you had to go through Swamp Cave to that little little tiny cave up top there from the Tabit Cave, which had stones. Which I forgot. I thought I had stones already from a previous seed. I did some. I was practicing before, so I thought I had stones from a, a previous mountain cave. So I was like, oh, Tabit Cave, I don't need that. And I just walked out and returned back home. <laughs> yeah, we, we we saw you pop out of Tablet Cave, and we're scratching our heads yeah, a little bit, honestly. But then we when we saw, saw you, you go to the Jerk and look at your item menu, it, it became very clear honestly, what had happened. Then when we saw you go yeah, to no, the Jerk and happen. look at but, your uh, item menu, it became I knew at that point it was Grimaldar had the uh, that one chest or the Tablet Cave. So I figured I'll do Tablet Cave first, I'll walk back there. In the worst case, I can just return, jump, and get back there and do it all in one go. But uh, yeah, definitely a full map. Again, all the way south to find the uh, Harp trade-in, all the way through the Swamp Cave, through those twists and turns in the islands. And uh, thankfully, the uh, coordinates were not great, but they followed that line to the river. So you had you were kind of forced to be in that one spot at the end. Yep, we never even saw what was in the um, 
the spike in the swap cave. Really didn't need it yep, by the time you hit level in the, uh, 11, honestly, you could have cave. beat the Dragon Lord. Really didn't need it by the time you yeah, hit level 11, honestly, you could have beat the Dragon Lord. It was scary at first because you walked outside, you had minimal power, and the uh, first thing I ran to was a hurt more ambush from a magician. But uh, they, they knew what they did because once I got two levels, they ran away from me like five times in a row. Then the skeletons did with hurt more, and then same thing happened. They started running away over and over again. And uh, yeah, basically, it was a low money seed, a low power seed. Uh, the caves are really far away, so no free chests. Um, you had to make do what you got. So I bought that club, and thankfully, started getting like 20 power per level and just you know, beat the snot out of some enemies. I think you clubbed one of every dragon at least. No, they had it coming. <laughs> I think you clubbed one of every dragon at least. Once I saw the red dragon had baby breath, I was like, in, in two more levels, you're all mine. <laughs> Once I learn to heal more, you're in trouble, mister. Yeah. All right, Tesla's hitting level 16 on the bottom floor of Sherlock. Yeah. She'll be ran to the Dragon right, Lord shortly. Level I'm hoping he has enough MP to Sherlock. finish on this dive. She'll be ran to the Dragon Lord shortly. I think this I'm was hoping he has enough dive. MP to finish on this Ooh. dive. Okay, that's not good. Ah, 14. 14. Yeah, not happening. I think this was a yeah, that one too. Dive. Yeah. Um, ground first ah, the Blue 14, Dragons. Yeah, I had that option. Then I ground a bit outside of a, a coal. I uh, had a lot of shield there. I figured, I'll get some experience points because the Magic Weverns, the Rogue Scorpions went down two punches. I figured, I'll grind there, get these experience, get these in gold, buy a large shield while I'm at it. And uh, I was again level two though there. It wasn't bad. It was a good zone. Uh, even the even the, the Zonks there were Maggie Drake and the Skeleton, so you're getting something for it at least. Tesla just hit the spike tile now. It's fighting the Blue Dragon. Hmm. Well, is just trying to put on the fighter's ring. Yeah, just and wanted that information of uh, what's on the spike tile before going home and then make yeah, the full just dive. just wanted that information oh. of what's on the spike tile. Congratulations, Seawolf. This puts you at 1 0. Oh. You'll be up against Congratulations, next Seawolf. week this puts somebody you else at that's also 1 0. You'll be up against. Um, Next week, I imagine that's the same approach. Also Next week, anything um, in this race that I imagine you know same approach gives you any Next insight week, towards future rounds in this race? That I mean, been playing the game for a while. It's good to you these seeds. Uh, a few changes in randomizer, a few changes in I think the logic, like the leveling, how it works, and certain quirks. There's a lot more. I'm seeing a lot more seeds where this is my fault this time, but uh, like where the, your first key is a chest. It's not Rimmeldar. Your first key is found um, in to early mountain or top of Garen's grave. So um, I know it's just I don't know if it's a quirk or just the programming or just and I've seen the last few races that it's I've seen the keys are kind of like you gotta find your first key, so uh, you gotta be more willing to dive into caves earlier. I believe now, yeah, the key, if the key is or if an accessible key is in a cave, I believe Rimmel now, Dark yeah, could actually be on the other side. Is, of or if swamp an accessible and, key is in a cave, being back of Tangible Dark. Could yeah, I'm confident that Swamp last time was back in Garenham to Swamp Cave to get to Dark on the last race I commentated. So I'm confident now that you can have a, you know, find your key <laughs> set up here. Yep, and in the case of this seed, it could have been either way. A lot quicker if you did it the way you didn't yep. do it. In the case of this seed, it could have been either way. A lot quicker if you did it the way you didn't do it. If that was a, uh, yeah, the sword was in the uh, top of a uh, mountain, that was the coming dicey, or the uh, the grave was below the, uh, the castle. Um, grave had, no, grave had armor, uh, mountain cave had the sword. Uh, that was always a, a possible loss there. But uh, the treasury had what, herb, herb, wings, and I think a dragon scale. <laughs> so treasury was junk. So uh, nothing important there, really. Yeah, definitely. It's the Tesla found Rimmeldar pretty early and checked out the treasury, but didn't give him the boost. You were a couple of levels out ahead of him at that point, and there was nothing in there that was giving him the catch up then. Yeah, I went north, saw Cantlin, went uh, west. I think I saw. Let's see there. So I'm breaking down below. Saw Hawk's Nest, saw Charlock early. Um, didn't quite get to coal. But uh, once I realized it was uh, that west of the castle, that beach had the, the Maggie Drakes and the skeletons. Um, they were decent fodder for, you know, six, seven, eight levels. And, uh, yeah, once they stopped ambushing me every time, because your agility was like 20 until like level like 10 or 11, <laughs> you had terrible agility this seed. I think it even ended pretty bad. That's why I was fighting all the way down, because I just didn't trust my running against the... Uh, Against any dragon, blue, red dragon, uh, armor knight, I just didn't trust my run. So I was fighting down the way just to get past those enemies. Because I could kill one two hits usually, so it was worth the it was worth the one punch, walk, you know, gain to nail back. It'd be okay. Yep, 57 agility you ended with, uh, 68 defense. Tesla does have silver shield, so it's 78 instead. Very good, yeah. I, I pondered doing a grind, and I left Mountain Cave, and I was like, nah, it was on the bottom of the game, it was great. I was like, nah, I should really... 
upon her dying here, get, get a gold grind going, but nah, just uh, the power I had was so high, it was even death because I found that. I was like, oh, I'll hold on to that. And then, like, two levels later, I'm like, why don't I even have this thing? <laughs> I'm gonna be doing 20 damage to Dragon Lord General anyway. I don't need this thing. <laughs> I'll take my doubles and triples. I didn't get any triples, but the uh, doubles, I got a few of those. And just the damage is so high. At a certain point, it's not worth having the necklace because you just make it risky for yourself. Yeah, pretty much. We were thinking, well, it could go either way. I mean, you'd still be over 100 HP, you'd have 150 attack, and eh, you know. Yeah, it was brutal overkill at that point. And once I had DL1 for 50 in the first swing, I'm like, yeah, I don't need to put this on. <laughs> I'll keep this in my pocket. And I'll, I'll give it to my uh, my Dragon Warrior 2 to send it. Yeah, we crunched it out up here, and you'd have been in a situation with a necklace on where 20 would have been an average roll, which seems as absurd as it does for me oh, to no. say. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I rolled a lot of 20s, though. <laughs> Even without the necklace, I rolled, I think, four or five 20s. So I was rolling hot anyway. So I definitely didn't need it. But uh, I knew my defense was lower. I didn't want to play with the uh, safe zone if I had 51, 52 hit points. I didn't want to play with the uh, punches being a surprise over top because I knew I didn't have the 76 or the 72. Yeah, and it, it worked out for you. It was a super clean fight. We counted up the damage because that's what one does, but really, yeah, there was no doubt once you walked in with that MP total that, yeah. Yeah, basically, when Charlock didn't give me any problems, I was waiting for uh, Golem to have sleep or something crazy, and nothing happened. Um, early game enemies had explosive damage. He had hurt more. He had big breath on a few early game enemies. But uh, any game enemies were pretty tame. There was no uh, real lockdown abilities, no real comeback potential. They were just, you know, mostly bite, 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 and Baby Breath and the Red Dragon, so they weren't really scary. Um, so Sherlock is dangerous when you have sleep, when you have you know, big breath spells, and yeah, nothing really in Sherlock had that kind of power. There were high stats, just no actual abilities. I did yeah, find it quite hilarious. Um, we didn't find the Drakeys with the Wombo combo, but you walked out, <laughs> found yep. the first enemy, and immediately yep. died to Fire Breath. Yeah, that's, I just walked out and said, yep, I accept this. I have done this to myself. Uh, the race, I don't know if they're, I know the chat's privy to the uh, race time chat, but I definitely called down the curse upon myself. <laughs> yeah, it was quite yeah, nice. Cyber, yeah, Cyberdark filled them in. <laughs> but yeah, the Wyverns had the true Wombo combo, and the Magic Magicians had the big breath, and someone else had the big breath, but so it the escapes did have me. It, huh? Yeah, the Wyvern blew me up with the breath once or twice. I never saw it sleep, so the Wyverns, uh, I fought two or three of them, I think. There wasn't anything major. By the time I saw them, I was like, oh, Wyvern, you know, just you know, pull the wings off and walk away. Yeah, and I don't actually don't think the Tesla knows the Magicians had the big breath. He, they, they never hit him with it. He fairy watered one early and threw a few punches, and with the way the strength was going, they started running from him before they ever got a chance to deploy it. That's pretty impressive. That's just the variance in this game. Um, everyone else looked at the randomizer, Chaos Mode, stuff like that, where it's like, no, I walked out of the castle two steps and got blown up by a magician, and then they ambushed me like five times in a row and blew me up again. And Tesla just, just casually, just totally unaware of it, just, oh, magician, I'll punch a few times, haha, and skips away. Just knowing he was like inches from death every moment and didn't have a clue. That's part of the fun of getting to see multiple racers running the same seat and being up here in the all seeing eye. Like, if only you knew, if only you knew. Yeah, that's a good thing. And that's good at the race, too. It's this randomized, especially where death is pretty common. Uh, you have to accept that. You know, something's going to get you. You're not going to. Very rarely will be a smooth path. I think once, maybe twice, I've seen a deathless run of a seed. And it's just, it's the game really has to lay down and say, please take my orb of light. To let it happen. Yeah, I bet. Because like, even if you start getting that way, you just start to feel like. Oh, no, my opponent's had this much of an easy time. I got to push. I got to push. I got to push. I got to push. Yeah, I was playing. My personal strategy is I enjoy the game. I just have fun with it. Uh, I'm bursting the seed. Like my opponent is there, they're also playing the seed. I'm not bursting my opponent. I'm bursting the seed because again, my opponent might not see what I see, might not notice that you no know, wizards gonna blow you up <laughs> at a moment's notice. So what they do to the seed is not important. It's what you do to your own seed. Yep, it's a good way to play. Just have fun with it, and you know, there's no stakes here. It's just for bragging rights, really. So have fun. I don't have the uh, stream up. How's the uh, dive going? Marching across, about to enter the final floor. Looking a lot better for MP totals. This should be it. Very good. 
Yeah, 84 MP. The plenty. same level 16 that you were. <laughs> yeah, that'd be plenty. <laughs> I can't see. Let's do it. Let's uh, Tessa ran a, uh, you know, a purposely bad strat build. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. No, same strength HP you did. And a silver shield to boot, so 78 defense. <laughs> Coming around on the final yeah. floor, finding some golems that have baby breath. Meh. <laughs> Put it to sleep, make the run away, clean, wander over the last couple of bridges, have another golem. Yeah, the golem is to. I say snowman stopped me a lot. I was running from gold was a lot of problem. Running from most things, wizard a problem. Yeah, snowman was giving me trouble running away. That was kind of strange. The blue dragon causing some problem for him now, just with the spike tile. He's just going to attack through it. Yeah, he gets a block and says, "All right, fine. I, I, I gave you a chance to get away alive. You denied it." That's on you. And the Tesla did make it to the spike tile in the last dive, so knows it's just a blue dragon waiting for him here. Did Tesla ever go to the swamp cave tile or just uh, also counted himself? So. Counted. Nice. You Jeez. both got cut off by the river and had to loop back over and then missed your spot. And both of you were heads up about it and said, no, I know I'm in the right area. I'm just going to methodically run down tiles until I find it. Yeah, that river was a split out there, but it could not be it was too far south. That one little uh, area forest past that uh, other river it was just too far south. You could not go that far down, so it had to be near a uh, wrecking area down there. So after about level three or four, I think, you took an experience lead. And basically, you grinded, found all kinds more experience. He was exploring a bit more. Uh, you both really took different paths until you needed the stones. And you grabbed the stones and went for... Um, or no, you had the found a trading cave, got that, grabbed the stones, went back for the jerk, and he was maybe 10 seconds behind you doing the exact same thing. So you pretty much converged there. Very good, but just never ground on the uh, blue dry and zone, because he was down level it seems he was down three at one point I think never really ground in the blue dragon at all no yeah that's reason reasonable and again the world was pretty uh, pretty dragon heavy uh, around the world red dragons lost lots and they were pretty soft once you had the sword or had once you had heal more basically the dragon, red dragons were a free kill if you had enough you know, time to kill well the tesla did go for the necklace so it has something like 116 for a max We've oh seen boy. 22, 24, and 18 for damage so far. Yeah, I think the necklace would be, uh, it'd be funny to watch. It'd be like the end of a Turtle Montage video. But, uh, didn't need it. I was thinking, doubles good enough. I'll take my doubles. But honestly, with the hit point total, the doubles are still possible anyway. So, and the shield. So, definitely a chance for doubles. Four heal more is left. I'm not sure what the count is. It has to be pretty high. I want to say something like a hundred, but I think we're good. He's hesitating on that 45, probably doing that math, thinking, I think I've got it in one more swing, but let's just make sure. Got and it 44. He was wow. right. That was the last swing. Yeah, that was never... If you have the heal, it's just like, don't gamble. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Unless it's absolutely necessary, no. At least you can't dodge. Like, I fought a red dragon, we were really happy with the seed, and I was like, ah, one more swing to kill it. It might dodge me, though. And I had, like, one heal more left. I'm like, ah, yeah, let's just, let's just heal him. Take two fifty five. And that's a finish for the Tesla GG's on uh, this very interesting seed. 
finish time of 139.58. Still a very respectable time. It was a close match up until the end. Yeah, this is really rough. It'll become a bad. Like, my opening was a little rough to get go. I can see where you can just get up and get hit by three or four hurt mores and fall behind by five minutes just from walking in zone zero. It wasn't hurt more, it was a breath. That's a problem. It was a. <laughs> yeah, stop spell. Ooh, stop spell. That'd be handy. First thing out. Dry your breath. I'm like, no, that's terrible. I can't stop that with the spell. Yeah, skeletons. You had sleep, stop. though. Life's good. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had to. I was getting ambushed. That's a problem. I was, I think, I was Julie 5 or was it the start? Like, I was getting ambushed by everything. Yeah, there you were. It's very, uh, very. That flash is a dirt of Cerberus. Where, ah, one of the enemies are here. Blam. Okay, there's an enemy. <laughs> Tesla should be jumping in shortly, just waiting for him to plug in a mic. Just a reminder to you all, while we're waiting for the Tesla to join us, if you liked what you saw from these runners, give them a follow. You can see the links there in chat. They put on a great show. You'll be seeing them practice more, I'm sure. And, well, here we are. Just about. Tesla's just about ready. Still muted there, probably as a turn on his push to talk. Uh, they're a PTT beast. Dodgy push to talk. Looks like you're unmuted now. Are you there, Tesla? Uh, I think so. Aha, there we go. There you are. GG's. All right. GG, what do you think of the seed? Uh, I've only ever finished one other seat in under an hour and 40 minutes. There was there was a lot of power early on, just punching things left, right, and center, and just, you get a punch, you get a punch, everybody gets a punch. Yeah, I think my I think my sprite was the uh, master from Final Fantasy 1, so it's like, yes. oh, that seems fitting. Yeah, little did you know. <laughs> Got that punch magic going on there. Yep, so, and actually you got off to an early start, grabbed a key pretty early, found the armor pretty early. You were ahead for a good while, and then it kind of evened out. Seawolf had a lot more experience, but you had a lot more exploration. And about the time you got the stones, you were both pretty close. The only difference was you were down two or three levels. Yeah, uh, normally, actually, I don't normally do a lot of exploration, um, but when, once I had the armor, I felt confident uh, in doing so, especially as the, like, when I was able to get the broadsword. I was like, okay, I can start fighting things at, and try to level as, as I explore. Not, not a bad strategy by any means, just um, it worked out a little bit different in your exploration, that's all. Oh yeah, and honestly, um, when I did that, when I first entered uh, Charlock, um, I expected to die. I was like, okay, I got, I know I got a level up because the uh, response power, the defense and agility was so low. I was like, I'm not gonna run from anything, knowing my luck. Yeah, and so you just take the levels as you go. You burn through the tank all the way down, and at least get to the spike tile and get the good news of the blue dragon before you go back in. Yeah, makes sense. Yep, and yeah, like, that's my, always the thing that kind of kills me in Seeds is, um, I've only had one, what I would call pleasant Charlock experience, 
like when I was fighting, I kept running into those stone men and they were just not letting me run. So after a while, I was like, okay, two attempts and attack. Yeah, stone men and, and red dragons can be a bit cranky about letting you get away. That's for sure. Thankfully, the uh, red dragons had weak breath, so I was like, okay, I can probably just fight them this time, not try to run, not have the fun police get all up in my grill. Fun police weren't really, uh, with the red dragons, of course, weren't really much of a problem to see. They had the baby breath, and honestly, by the time you found them, both of you could pretty much kill them in one or two hits. No, oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we saw a 98 damage crit on a red dragon at one point, which, you know, is normal, but I think the person in question was level 9 at the time, and it's just kind of like, huh, well, that's what this seed is. A glass cannon seed, indeed. Tesla, did you happen to know that magicians had the uh, DL2 breath? No, I did not, thankfully. I'm very glad I used that fairy water in the first round. So the sea wolf walked outside when the seed started, took two steps, and immediately died to a back attack deal to Rith. Oh, yeah, dude. It's like, boom. Give me one of those seeds, huh? All right. <laughs> I see how it is. That happened to me with the, uh, the skeleton at level five. I was like, oh, yeah, I could probably take him. Hurt more. Oh, no, I can't. I actually got that one better because the first time I saw a skeleton it ambushed me and hurt more me to health. I put to sleep, healed, stop spell, and punched it down. But then I think like four or five in a row ambushed me again. Like those skeletons were faster than I was and just kept on ambushing me. So they were a good grind for experience points. They were real dangerous. Oh, absolutely. That's why one of I did a little bit of grinding uh, in the grave, actually. Uh, it was because of the dra of the uh, Magic Wyverns, Druin Lords. I didn't run into Rogue Scorpion that second time, but that's when I first started fighting the uh, Armored Knights. Yeah, took some time in uh, Fox Nest to beat the dragon, which I realized it was just a punch dragon. So I had heal more. I had, I'm going to have half plate and just obnoxious power, because, haha, power seed. So just killed four or five of those dragons. Yeah, you got a club and then a lot of strength versus a blue dragon, and it was fine. Yeah, I hesitated uh, on exploring at one point or going into Hawksness, but I'm glad I kept exploring because that's why I started going to the southeast and I found all of the caves. Yeah, the yeah, room was the there. Yeah, the map was all stretched out as far as where they threw stuff. Rimaldar over there in the northwest, the swamp cave leading to the isolated tablet that you had, and everything clustered to the south. It, it was a lot of walking to do. Absolutely. It was... Yeah, like I said, I don't normally do exploration. Um, and kind of glad I did this time, because it probably would have added an extra 10 minutes had I not. I think the other big difference in play styles was, or at least the way the exploration worked out, you had keys 10 minutes in, maybe? Maybe 15? And the sea wolf was closer to 45, I think, before he found one in the mountain cave. That'd be true. It'd be a real bad deal if the uh, treasury had the goods, but thankfully, treasury is a bust. Yeah, that was an ugly treasury. Yeah, and you had to do some work for your armor getting to the grave so much earlier. You bounced off that first floor a couple of times, but the persistence paid off. You, you were the. You picked up that armor back when the Sea Wolf had, I think, chainmail and large shield, and just like that, your defense had caught back up to his. Yeah, I I, I shouted with glee when I went across the, came across the armor because I think I died twice, and I was like, no, I I need to I need to fulfill my destiny, just at least check the last two chests because I knew I could do the uh, gold grind as well. Definitely. And at that point when I was there, I also had no... I don't think I had any uh, story items. I didn't have any of the, uh, the homework done. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta check all these, all these chests, because I found nothing. Yeah, 
yeah, my, my ultimate goal, honest to goodness, my ultimate goal was, okay, if I can keep it somewhat close and not be more than half an hour behind, that's just, that's usually my goal. I don't, I don't mind coming in last place, but it's like, if I can keep it close, then I'm happy. Well, this certainly fulfilled that goal. You did, you both did really well in this. Yeah, congratulations, Seawolf. Uh, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I figured that you were going to, you were going to go the distance. Yeah, no, every race is, again, I was saying before, you play the seed, you don't play the opponent, because, again, if I ran to <laughs> how many more hurt moors, I was up there, and it was a very, very tame Charlock, too. Uh, they could have ambushed, they could very easily uh, spike tile with a sleep on, made a problem. So, uh, yeah, no, the, the seed uh, was actually very generous. Uh, a little rough at the start there, but... And a little spread out, but in terms of combat, you're mostly, it's mostly in our favor. So it definitely helped out a lot. Yeah, and I mean, with as much variance as going on in this siege, you know, to break out the other sports metaphor on any given Sunday, anyone can come away with a win. And it was really close. Like, go back and look at the VOD Tesla. You'll see that you were very close with Seawolf the whole way through, right up until that last Charlock dive. Oh, that, yeah, that's going to be definitely an interesting uh, VOD to, to watch and everything. Um, because, yeah, like I said, it, like that, I, yeah, that makes me feel very, very good. Just because I I am new. I, like, I don't normally, I haven't, I've only played one randomizer other than this one this entire year. So. Okay, hey, yeah, yeah, same for me. I'm, I'm kind of new to this, and there's just one other randomizer I'm really familiar with. So I'm just getting my feet wet here, too. I uh, bet. I get the feeling, so definitely go back and look. It's it's going to make you feel a lot better going into next week. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, the community, uh, that, that was the thing I was most chomping the bit at. It's like, I, I, hey, I get to chat with a lot of people I know, potentially go against people I know, meet new people I don't know. The community, the Dragon Warrior Randomizer community has just been incredible, and that's why I wanted to you know jump in and be, be a part of it. Here, here, second that. All right, and with that, I think we're going to send our raid over to Random Mania 2, where we have another race going on. Um, any last words from other of you guys? Mm, I just uh, hope you're all enjoying the races. We got, we got a whole point more. We got five more weeks of this. So, yeah, buckle in. We got tons and tons of stuff. So I like the Swiss format because we get so much more content. A little hairy for the uh, tracking team and such. You know, all the uh, tech workers in the background. Give them all the props you can, because they're holding up a whole lot of races. So you can watch them enjoy them. Yeah, uh, I haven't done a Swiss tournament in 17 years of any kind. So uh, it is a format I used to do, but I haven't done in a long time. Uh, but yeah, the behind the scenes, thank you guys so much for, for what you guys are doing and everything uh, like that. It's, it, yeah, it's just fantastic. Hey, I got the easy part. I just sit here and push a button, and everyone forgives me for saying half the things wrong, because, oh, he's new. He'll figure it out eventually. No, you did good. You knew your stuff, I must say. So, again, thank you guys for racing. It was a really good race to watch. Everyone, if you can, follow our runners, uh, the Seawolf1 and the Tesla. I also follow our restreamer, MathGirl718, our tracker, Centroid41, Commander Leonhardt on comms, as well as myself, CyberDark86. And we'll see you all on Randomania 2. Uh, just just uh, uh, to clarify, because I do, I, I am a little bit confused uh, confusing about this. It's actually a Scientist Say is our, our Twitch channel. I'm one of the hosts, and then my, my handle is the Tesla. So. Thank you. <laughs> yep, yeah, we definitely want to get that up in the ranch ride. <laughs> all right, good night, all. Good night, everyone. Thanks for being here. Whee! That was fun. Thank you all. Thank you. It was um, 